Hello again everybody and welcome to another Python 3 Basics video. In this video we're going to be covering default function parameters. So I'm just going to go ahead and clear this out. So normally we write a function like so, simple and num1, num2, <clears throat> and that's it. And then we have the function do something. For now I just write pass. That just gives it something to do. If I don't write anything here and I define another function, it uh, will be mad. It will throw an error. It ex ex expects an indent. Um, so anyway write something there. But what we can do uh, is something like this. So define simple num1 and then we can do what's called a default parameter num2 and by default we just say num2 equals 5. So what this is going to do when you do this is it's going to just by default give num2 the, uh, the value of 5. So if we print uh, num1 and num2 and then we call simple you actually don't have to put anything in there. We could say 5, right? Even though we've got two parameters here, when you have a default, it's automatically filled. So uh, you don't have to specify it. So in, in fact, let me uh, change this. Since we used 5 for number 2, and we'll run it. And sure enough, we get 2, 5. So that was fine. We didn't throw an error, even though we only had 1. And that's because this has some default, uh, a default value to it. Now, why would anybody use a default value? So an example of a time when you might use default, it, a good thing to think about is, say you, you're going to go buy a car, and, and <clears throat> maybe you care a lot about like what kind of stereo the car has or whatnot, but you don't really care about the types of tires that it has. You're not too worried about uh, the suspension and all that, but then some people are worried about the suspension and don't give anything about the radio. They just want the stock radio in there and so on. So different people like to do different forms of customization. So an example of this in programming would be maybe a program that allows you to create uh, windows. So basic window, and every window needs uh, a width and a height. Um, but then you have other things that you might need in your window. So what are some things that you might need in a window? You, well, you might need font. So you might need a font type, and we'll do TNR for Times New Roman. As a quick aside, I'm going to have uh, I'm going to hit enter. So you can what you can do when you're specifying things within uh, parentheses is the following comma enter, and you can continue specifying things here. And this can just kind of help uh, keep things a little bit more organized, uh, so you don't run out of space or you don't have like one really long line. <laughs> okay. So some other properties that we might want with this window uh, background color. Uh, by default, let's say that's white. Um, scroll bar equals true. And that'll do for now. So let's just say uh, we have three parameters here that uh, can be added. Now, in this basic window, let's just say we print um, width, height, font, BGC, and um, we won't print scroll bar. <laughs> anyway, uh, and that's it. So if we call basic window, the only thing that we really have to specify here that doesn't have a value already is width and height. So let's say we want it to be 500 pixels wide, 350 tall. Okay. So when we go to run this, we get 500, 350, TNR, W. So we printed out right all of the specifications here. So even though we didn't specify font, BGC, scroll bar, we were able to modify those. So then what happens if you uh, do want to modify it? Well, generally what you're going to see is people type out the, uh, the name. But you could, in theory, do something like this. And we'll just say A for Arial. And we run it. And sure enough, that worked. But the reason why people are going to type it out is because of the following. What if you don't care to change font, but you want to change background color? Well, if you don't want to type it out, you're going to have to type in A and then W. Because obviously, if you throw a W in here, it's going to say the font type is W. And you don't want W because W is like webdings. And you don't want webdings. So obviously, that would cause trouble. So what you're going to see when people have default parameters is BGC equals and then whatever they want it to equal. Oops, we lost our equal. Save, run, and now you'll see that TNR went unaffected, but W um, 
is there, VGCW. Let's change it to B for black. Uh, run it, and you can see it, we changed it. So obviously, when we have this view of variables, it, like it's not that big of a deal if you had to type them all out. But let's just imagine with some things, people like to make their modules really highly customizable. So like with matplotlib, you've got all kinds of things. You've got line thickness, line color, uh, plot markers, you've got, um, now I'm blanking. There's a whole bunch of stuff though that you can add. And with a lot of modules, there's a whole lot of stuff that they give you that you can customize, but at the same time, you're not forced to customize it if you don't want to. And they give you defaults that make sense, but if you want to change it, you could. So anyway, that's just the basics of default parameters and how to use them and why they're used and all that. So hopefully you can recognize them. And if you wanted to add them to your own program, now you can. So uh, that's it with this uh, tutorial. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them below. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and the subscriptions. Until the next video.